Yes, parkour is the art of running around an urban landscape and can be particularly hazardous where height is involved. Somersaults, backflips, the uh, spinny things, and one of my personal favorites, the cat leap. A technique for jumping across a gap to a vertical surface and pulling yourself up by your hands. It is actually inspired by the way a cat can jump, but not by the way it can fall. <laughs> Okay, folks, remember, cats supposedly have nine lives. Humans only have one. To get it right, the technique of the parkour expert needs to be spot on. And here's some science to show how. To get maximum velocity on takeoff, he throws his arms forwards in a swinging movement on the jump. This creates additional downward force on the hip joint giving over 20% more distance. But the real skill is in the landing. He swings his legs around to cushion the force of hitting the wall. His tendons act like springs, absorbing the shock of impact to prevent hitting the wall with too much force to hold on. But these urban athletes must first remember to get their takeoff right. Using the correct technique, the maximum pushing force of a jump at takeoff is over 750 pounds, enough to get a grizzly bear off the ground. Imagine what that would do to a cat. Let's see those guns in action then, fella. Yeah, nice arm work, but for big jumps, he'll need a run-up to boost his velocity before his arms add that extra 20% distance. He's got it. He hasn't. But it's pointless knowing how to take off without knowing how to use those spring-like legs to land properly. It's all about timing. Yeah, that's bad. Oh. Oh. Just ask Casper. Casper brought his feet up too late, preventing his legs from acting like springs and absorbing the impact meaning he hits the wall with too much force and falls like a ton of bricks. Yeah. Don't worry, he's fine. So he wants to bring his feet up nice and early, right? Not quite. He brings his legs up too early and the absorbed energy released from those spring-like muscles simply bounces him off the wall like a tennis ball. After the theory, all it takes is practice and a lot of blood, sweat and tears. But mainly blood. And when it's finally nailed, a good exit strategy is vital.